Before work is begun, the hydraulic oil shall be up to the operating temperature. The tamping parameters can now be adjusted in the tamping and lifting unit screen to achieve a lasting tamping result. For this purpose, the operator has the opportunity to work with different tamping cycles. Various pre-selections are possible, from manual tamping to the third tamping cycle. It is possible to change the individual tamping cycles with the keys on the left armrest panel. The tamping units on the permanent way can be adjusted on the page Tamping and Lifting Unit on the touch panel. And for example, delay times for the lowering of the unit and the opening of the Tyne arm set. By means of the field speed, the lowering speed of the units can be set. This can also be done by direct input on the touch panel or with the key installed in the right armrest panel. When tamping, the tamper must set the squeezing time in the touch panel. The optimum squeezing time is 0.8 to 1.2 seconds, according to the DB instructions. The input can be entered by touching the touch panel directly with a value in seconds, or changed by pressing the buttons in the right arm control panel in 0.2 second steps. The tamping pressure should be adapted to the different types of sleeper, in order to be able to work sustainably. In the touch panel, the pressure can be entered as a percentage value by touching the field. The squeezing pressure set for all four tamping units is shown in bar in the miscellaneous screen. The tamping pressure can also be set in this screen. In order to process the permanent way efficiently and without damage, the depth of penetration must be adjusted depending on the various track structures. The depth of penetration can be changed by touching the touch panel directly in millimetres or by operating the key in the left arm control panel in 10 millimetre steps.